Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, Mark Judge issues shocking new letter, reveals huge info about Kavanaugh case. Isn't it great to see the Democrat Party narrative finally starting to unravel? The Daily Caller is reporting that the one and the only man who was allegedly present when Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh allegedly sexually assault Dr. Christine Blasey Ford has now sent a letter to the chairman and ranking member of the Senate Judiciary Committee refuting the third accuser's claims of sexual misconduct. The letter said that the allegations in the Swetnick affidavit are so bizarre that even while this man was suffering from his addiction he would have remembered actions so outlandish. So he went on to categorically deny them. The statement also went on to refute Swetnick's claims that Judge and Kavanaugh had drugged women and forced them into gang rape scenarios while they were intoxicated while they were in high school. The letter then went on to conclude by saying I will cooperate with any law enforcement agency that is assigned to confidentially investigate these allegations. Here is more on Swetnick via Fox News. The third woman to accuse Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct faced inappropriate conduct allegations of her own during her brief employment with an Oregon tech firm, according to reports. In a lawsuit filed in 2000, Portland-based Web Trends alleged that Julie Swetnick, 55, falsely claimed to be a Johns Hopkins University alum and fabricated her prior work experience, the Oregonian reported. The company voluntarily dismissed the lawsuit after a month. Swetnick's attorney, Michael Avenatti, called the case completely bogus. This lawsuit never had any merit as evidenced by how quickly it was dismissed, Avenatti told the paper in an email. It was originally filed in retaliation for my client making claims against the company. Swetnick worked for the company off-site for a few months in 2000 as a professional services engineer, according to the paper. Allegations laid out against her in the lawsuit include engaging in unwelcome sexually offensive conduct and making false and retaliatory allegations that other co-workers had engaged in inappropriate conduct toward her. The suit claimed Swetnick engaged in unwelcome sexual innuendo with two male employees at a business lunch with clients present and that she claimed two other co-workers sexually harassed her. Webtrends, a web analytics company, determined Swetnick acted inappropriately but could not prove the allegations against her co-workers. Based on its investigations, Web Trends determined that Swetnick had engaged in inappropriate conduct, but that no corroborating evidence existed to support Swetnick's allegations against her coworkers, the complaint said. Based on its investigations, Web Trends determined that Swetnick had engaged in inappropriate conduct, but that no corroborating evidence existed to support Swetnick's allegations against her coworkers. The Daily Caller reported that Swetnick took a leave of absence during her employment for sinus issues in July 2000 and was given short-term disability payments. One week after the payments stopped in mid-August, Web Trends received a note from Swetnick's doctor claiming she suffered a nervous breakdown and needed to take another leave of absence. Weeks later, the company was informed that she had applied for unemployment benefits in Washington, D.C. She never explained to Webtrend's human resources staff why she applied for the benefits and claimed they had illegally tried to obtain her privileged medical information. In 2001, after her employment with the company ended, Swetnick's ex-boyfriend filed a restraining order against her in Florida, Politico reported. Richard Binecki claimed that Swetnick threatened him and his family after he ended their four-year relationship. She was threatening my family, threatening my wife and threatening to do harm to my baby at that time. Vinecki told Politico. I know a lot about her. She's not credible at all, he said. Not at all. Avenatti called Vinecki's assertions against his client complete nonsense, according to the report. No truth to this at all, he said. Swetnick became the third woman to accuse Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. In a sworn statement to a judge, she said Kavanaugh was verbally abusive toward girls, a mean drunk and would spike the punch at high school house parties. Swetnick added that she remembered seeing Kavanaugh and other boys lined up outside a room at a party, waiting for their turn with an inebriated girl. In approximately 1982, I became the victim of one of these gang or train rapes where Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh were present, Swetnick says in her statement, though she didn't explicitly accuse Kavanaugh of assaulting her. During the incident, I was incapacitated without my consent and unable to fight off the boys raping me. I believe I was drugged using quaaludes or something similar placed in what I was drinking. On Thursday the White House instructed the FBI to question two women who have alleged sexual misconduct by Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. But the parameters of the new and limited FBI probe don't include interviewing Swetnick, according to a report on Saturday in the Wall Street Journal. This whole narrative is unraveling right before the Democrat Party's eyes.
none of these two women who have come forward or Dr. Ford who was forced to come forward because Diane Feinstein's office allegedly leaked her letter which she wanted to keep confidential or credible at this point. You would think that if the Democrat Party would have taken time to actually plan their strategy they would have at least found more credible actors to sell their narrative, but since they believe the American people to be stupid they did a poor job at planning this whole political takedown of an innocent man. Apparently, Democrat politicians have spent so much time in Hollywood that they actually have come to believe that the American people as a whole are just as foolish and stupid as the majority of celebrities. Boy, are they in for a wake-up call come these November midterms. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.